Hey everybody, it's Scully. So since I've been going through it a bit myself lately, I wanted to make a video talking about it. I wanted to talk about signs that your mental illness may be acting up. Because um, on the road to recovery with mental illness, more than likely you're going to notice times in your life when your mental illness is going to need some attention. So it may start acting up in various ways. Some of the two areas I tend to notice the most are relationships or job, and job performance. Now with job performance, um, I tend to notice, you know, you can make mistakes at work if your, your mental illness starts to act up. And this is something I kind of try to tread lightly on because, I mean, you're human. You're going to make mistakes. It's part of life. People make mistakes. You got to address those mistakes. You got to get better from them. It's part of life. But when your mental illness acts up, if you are somebody who struggles with mental illness, they tend to be mistakes that are kind of far more preventable. You kind of, you know, usually kind of see them coming and you have time to usually correct the mistakes before they happen. Well, what if you're distracted? If you're distracted, you've got your head in the clouds, you got things weighing you down, making your brain foggy, you're kind of distant and far away, you feel very disconnected from everything. That's when mistakes tend to happen. So if you notice yourself making more mistakes at work, people having to correct you, things having to be repeated to you more, having to go back and dot your I's and cross your T's, that may be a sign that your mental illness is acting up. So you, it may be a time to take some time for yourself and kind of deal with that burnout that's going on. Because let's face it, we all get burnout from time to time too. And that's why things like, you know, if you are able to schedule time off work, go on vacations from time to time, why doing those things can be so important and having time for yourself. That way you prevent jet lag, you prevent getting burnout, and you prevent things like mistakes happening that are preventable. So another area that you tend to see happen when your mental illness acts up is relationships. When you are weighed down with your mental illness acting up, you're, you've got foggy brain, you tend to feel far away, disconnected from everything, it can make it more difficult to listen to other people and to talk to people. Your fuse, your temper may be shorter. You may be more prone to arguments with people. This, in turn, can cause your relationships to suffer. Now, of course, we all get in arguments with people from time to time, which can also include co-workers, too. You know, people you work with, you're in a tight space. You kind of, or if it's like people you live with, you kind of tend to get some cabin fever from time to time. Sometimes you got to get out of the house and kind of go do something else and take some time away from people. And, you know, sometimes taking breaks from relationships is healthy so you don't have conflict or anything. But sometimes if you have a short fuse or you are you know got foggy brain and tend to feel far away from everything, that can put a stress on relationships. And that can be a sign that your mental illness is acting up. Unfortunately, your mental illness can act up from time to time. And it's not always a sign that you did anything wrong. It's not always a sign that something's incredibly wrong. Sometimes it just means your medications need adjusted. You just need to follow up with your therapist, your psychiatrist. You got to do some things to get yourself back on track. Because like with anything, you got to take your medications, you got to eat right, you got to get yourself some exercise and fresh air, entertain yourself with hobbies, things that are healthy for you. And sometimes you can do everything right and you can still have problems. So just because you can have problems with your mental illness it doesn't necessarily mean you did anything wrong. Sometimes it just means that you need a professional to take a second look and see what's going on. Maybe you have stress going on in your life. Maybe you have stress that's weighing you down and maybe that stress needs to be addressed for your mental health to get better. So it can be caused from many different things. So if you're having a hard time, take a good look at what's going on in your life. Is, have there been any changes that have happened? Any stress that's going on? How long have you been on your medications? Did you miss any of your medications? Do you take them at the same time every day? Did you skip a dose? Does your dosage need adjusted? What time of year is it? Are there seasonal things that are 
playing a part, like seasonal depression, there could be a lot of what's going on. There can be indicators of needing adjustments in your life. So hopefully this video was helpful to anybody who needs it. Until next time, have a great day, guys.